Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Idahoan Show. You know, ever since I built that little 40 s and barrel using only a drill press and a Dremel and a few assorted hand tools, I'm guessing there have been plenty of people wondering, well, just what kind of accuracy is a barrel like that really capable of? No, I've been wondering that myself. So now that I've got this uh, red dot sight that I can mount on my Utah pistol, I went ahead and put it on the 40 s and barrel, and today we're going to give it a proper accuracy test. Now, for comparison, I'd also like to shoot a group with this high point automatic in 40 s and uh, This obviously is about the bottom of the line as far as quality of automatic pistols goes, but it is still a commercial automatic handgun with a nice smooth factory rifled barrel in contrast to the rough drilled barrel on my homemade Utah pistol. So it should provide a good basis of comparison. Okay, let's see what we got here. So I fired a 10-shot group out of each gun, the Utah and the High Point. Uh, with the High Point, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine shots on paper. And I'm really not sure where the 10th one went, maybe through that little notch there, but I, it's hard to say. Uh, our grouping it has kind of this bimodal distribution with five shots down here and four up here. Um, not really sure what the cause of that is, if it's some kind of shooter error that was causing those to go up high, or uh, whether it's just statistical variation. Either way, uh, roughly a five inch group overall, you know, about as long as my marking pen there. Um, meanwhile, on the Utah pistol, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So all ten shots are accounted for, although not all of them are on paper. You know, the group obviously has shifted kind of up towards the corner of the target here. Um, you know, I just slapped that red dot on the pistol without doing anything to try and zero it. So, you know, it is to be expected that the group would be off-center. And what we're looking at is not so much uh, how well it's zeroed, because it wasn't zeroed, as just how well it's grouping, because as long as we're shooting a consistent group, you know, we could always adjust the sights to zero that later on. Now, the, now as far as the group size, once again, that's really just about a five inch group, you know, about as long as my marking pen, you know, with the exception of that one outlier, but then again, we had one over there that we can't find either. So, um, overall, very comparable accuracy between these two guns, even though that one's a commercial factory made gun, and that one is a very rough uh, homemade barrel. Now, I fired these groups at 25 yards. Uh, so not only is that accuracy really very comparable, but it's also very usable. Uh, you know, that's perfectly adequate precision for general purpose plinking, which is about all that either of these guns were ever designed or intended for. And so personally, I find that uh, very encouraging with regards to my barrel making endeavors, and hopefully you found it interesting as well. Anyway, thanks for watching the Idahoan Show.